is stand for watching the presentation for our work titled Physical Activity Classification Using an Artificial Neural Network Based on the Analysis of Anthropometric Measures. This was a work done by Erika Severain, Alexandra Lacruz, Hector Herrera, Sara Wong, Velasquez, and Antonio Alvarez, with collaboration from the Simon Bolivar University and Universidad de Ibagué. Activity is essential to maintain a good health. It can prevent a uh, lethal diseases like diabetes, but according to the World Health Organization, by 2008, around 31% of adults were physically active. Currently, there is a lot of efforts to promote physical activity through wearables, like watches or uh, smartphones. Uh, these gadgets give uh, real-time feedback according to the exercise the user is doing in the moment. But we have identified that there aren't a lot of works about um, a more simple classification about people that are physically active between those that aren't. Um, our work is then uh, to develop a tool that it could filter between uh, someone that uh, is uh, active physically and someone that is sedentary, more uh, more so in a setting where you can trust the work or the word of of that person. Uh, for example, a uh, um, company will call them. Um, a uh, health insurance insurance company uh, could use this tool to uh, study the potential client to see if it is uh, is profitable or to see in what range of 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 price to give him according to to a profile to pro to, pro to a profile in that he could do. The objective of this work is then to construct a classifier using anthropometric uh, features that could distinguish between those who do those who do does uh, exercise from those who doesn't. And for for this work, we use a data set with 4,553 instances with 77 attributes. But considering that a lot of these instances and attributes have missing values, we uh, trimmed the database to 3,628 instances with 11 attributes. The attributes uh, that remain are those in the table. These are gender, date of birth, age, weight, height, right arm circumference, right arm tricep skin fold, left tricep skin fold, left arm circumference, body mass index, and frame size index. For this work, we use an artificial neural network for the physical activity classification that consisted of three hidden layers with 200, 100, and 500 nodes, uh, the first two in the middle layers and the last in the, out, in the output layer. The way of date was done through the Adam algorithm, that is to make to, to obtain the, the best parameter, the best configuration for the artificial neural network uh, for this work. And lastly, uh, the objective function used was the cross entropy. That in this case, uh, because the uh, it's a binary classification, it's the cross entropy of the sigmoidal function, as it is shown in the work, in the paper. For the future selection, uh, we have the autoencoders. The autoencoder was under-complete under the premise that uh, with an under-complete with less nodes in the middle layer, in the encoding layer, we could, head, we could force the autoencoder to get the prominent features. And with this, we identified, we do some a kind of feature selection. 
uh, the middle layer was uh, trained with the rectifier linear unit. This is the maximum between zero and the value of the last layer. And the objective function of the output layer is the mean square error. We must uh, uh, say that uh, an autoencoder uh, is a uh, a model that tries to approximate uh, the given input uh, through some kind of process of compressing and then reconstruct it to, in, in the most uh, reliable way possible. So, so to evaluate uh, the artificial neural network, we use uh, some metrics that are founded on the confusion matrix. A confusion matrix is constructed uh, from the predictions done by the model and the true levels that the instances have. In this case, when the model and the true label agree, they are called the true, a true classification. In this case, true positive if when the true and the predicted level is positive or true negative when both are negative. A false negative is when the predicted uh, the model predicts that the instance is negative, but in true, truly it is positive, and the false vice versa for the false 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 positive. The false positive is when uh, the model predicts that is positive, but in reality is negative. From the confusion matrix, uh, we have uh, precision. That is the relationship between between those uh, instances that the classifier the, the model classified correctly as true positive between all instances that were given to label by this model. The recall is the relationship between the true positive values divided by uh, the total of instances that which true level was positive. If one if is a, a relationship between the precision and recall in a single metric. The false positive rate is normally used for the rock cure constru construction and it's a relationship between the false positive, those that uh, were currently classified as positive between and those that uh, those instances which, which whose true levels are negative. And accuracy is the, really is, is the total of correctly classified instances. So the experimental setup. Uh, given the data set uh, that we pre-processed -pre with uh, the, uh, approximately 3,000 instances and 11 attrib attributes, we first did feature selections with the autoencoder to head the four most prominent uh, attributes. Then uh, with these four attributes and the original, the, the curated data set, we classified, uh, we did binary classification to see if uh, a person is physically active, this will be our positive instances or those that aren't physically active. Uh, these are our negative instances. Uh, this was done with the artificial neural network that we described in the, in the methodology previously. And the results are given through the metrics that we explained it previously. The results. The autoencoder identified uh, quantitatively three, the three most prominent attributes. And which, through empirical testing, we also obtained that sex is a good indicator of physical activity. Uh, the autoencoder can uh, identify age as one of the most prominent attributes uh, with its uh, evaluation through the reconstruction error that it is represented as the original value of each attribute minus the result given by the autoencoder that it is also called as the reconstruction and then it is divided by the original value. Uh, we showed this in the scatter plot, and uh, we can see that for age, uh, the mean is that um, the reconstruction error goes from 4 to minus 4, 
and there is uh, quite uh, some few some a few outliers that close to minus 12. Uh, this is the second most prominent feature obtained by the autoencoder. Then uh, the next attribute is height, height, height reconstruction errors goes between one and minus, minus three without any notable outlier. This is considered the best, the most prominent feature. Um, lastly, we have brain science index, which reconstruction error goes from four to minus four, with some outliers that goes over 12. This is the third, third most prominent feature. Now, uh, talking about a bit about these results, we have that the uh, autoencoder uh, could identify some attributes that uh, truly characterize those people that are physically active. Age uh, plays an important role uh, because according to some studies, some studies have, have shown that uh, when one people in his child didn't practice a physical activity, it is more difficult to begin now when he's adult, but someone that did uh, sports when he was a child and a teenager uh, will probably maintain a routine easily. Then sex is also a factor because more, more, uh, mostly because of cultural factors. Some cultures uh, is most prominent. Is, it's more common to have men to do sports than women. When we examined the results of the artificial neural network, we obtained the values given in the table. Uh, we must uh, take note about the 88% of recall, which means that the classifier can identify correctly those who are physically active very well. The rock curve is the relationship between the recall and the false positive rate. When the area under the curve approximates one, the classifier is considered better. better. So according to Mantraka, an area under the curve of 89% uh, puts this classifier to artificial neural network in a range that could be considered an excellent classifier. Um, when we compare our work with authors, uh, for example, that in in Sirtrat et al. detecting and profiling sedentary young men using machine learning algorithms, we see that uh, while they obtained uh, around 99% of accuracy, their method consisted of doing interviews, uh, leveraging information directly from from the person, while meanwhile we don't uh, focus on the honesty of each participant and construct or classifier directly with hard facts. Uh, this is an advantage when we want to create or use a model that is independent of the information provided by the user. Finally, we must conclude that Two things that first that the attributes identified by the autoencoder are uh, good indicative to determine where a person is physically active from those who aren't. And this is more according to societal, so to society and cultural factors than to physiological factors. So it is interesting to see how uh, the way of thinking of people uh, uh, have an effect on on the consistency of doing physical activity. The other conclusion is that the model trained here, the artificial neural network with age, height, height sex and body proportion can distinguish between uh, those who are physically active between those who aren't with 81% of accuracy and 89% of area under the curve. So this could be considered an excellent classifier that could be used readily uh, for a
for testing for companies or organizations that need to test if a given person or to profile if a given person is uh, practice some kind of physical activity. 